welcome to this new video. This is the third one in this video series of Game Engines with Rust2. In this case, we are going to talk about how to create a point cloud publisher in Godot so that we can see it in Rust2, Galactic in this case. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, um, I'll leave it in the video description or in the tags around there. And that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is, as always, go to the notebook that has this project. I'll leave the vid in the video description the project so you can click it and then launch it and you'll have the, the same exact material that you're seeing here, unless I update it. If you're from the future, maybe it's different. The only thing that you have to do always that you open this project is launch these commands so that it installs some things that are not installed in uh, in the system by default once you have it then let's launch the godot ide so let's i've already installed the necessary packages there you go so now it says please confirm blah 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 it's not important you hit scan you go to go to projects and we select this folder and you'll have the projects that uh, I've downloaded in this project. So we go to godot.project, we double click and we wait until it loads. Fantastic. Um, scroll a bit out because for some reason it's open there. We have the player here and we have added a new element in the scene which is this uh, this moai that you see here that we'll see in a minute okay uh, if if you want to launch any other example you'll have to set set it here in run and change it to version 2 version 4 depending on what you have you you want to launch all the instructions are in the notebook. So here you have the, the, the previous one from that we did command bell. And this one is the new one that has to be main version three. Uh, so let's, uh, let's launch it. There you go. So you should see some red balls there, which are the detections of the point cloud of the floor. And what we are going to do is launch now. Uh, so what we're going to do is launch now the Arbis 2. There we go. Arbis 2. So now we can open a config file that I've already prepared for you in uh, ROS2 workspace, source, ROS packages, control, Arbis, point cloud setup. There we go. I'll try to put it here, more or less, and the window of the game around here. And I'll try to move it around. There we go. Okay, that's enough. As you can see, we are publishing. If we move with the keyboard, we can see that we are generating a point cloud of all the environments there we go and all the points are updated both in in the game and also in our vis which means in ROS2 indirectly so we go here and let's have a look at the moai let's depending on the system and the uh, that you have and uh, this go will go slower or faster depends on there we go okay so here we can see that we have a point cloud image of you see the the door there and then the face of the moai around there so there you have it so we are publishing point clouds, raycast basically, from the game to ROS. And we can use this for perception, navigation, 
autonomous driving, a lot of things. So how this is done? Let's have a look. Uh, there are, as always, two parts, basically. The plugin part and the Godot part. Hmm? And also, yeah, and I would say the third part would be the ROS part. So let's have a look first at the plugin. We go to Godot. And inside it, we have this folder that it's called the modules, where we have our plugins. Godot ROS. And inside it, we have created a new uh, module, a new package. There we go. Source. And here, as we talked about in the last video, we define certain things to have these plugins. But we have to concentrate on this Raycast publisher. There we go. Here we are defining basically two uh, methods. One that is publish raycast message. We give it an array of points and it will um, publish them. Those points are vector threes. Yeah. And then we have the classical spin sum. This has a very similar structure to the example of the talker that you have here. You can have a look. But this one is a bit more complex just because the structure of the message is more complex. Uh, here we have Raycast Publisher, HPP, where we have everything defined. So we have the Raycast Publisher, this is the class, and we start the node, which is called Raycast Publisher node, uh, and we do a publisher, which publishes in this topic with this uh, quality of services. And then we have this message, which is using an array, uh, a Godot array, with uh, this one as input, so Raycast array. Then what we do is we initialize this message type point cloud, point cloud one, not two, just because point cloud one is easier to work with. Then we set the frame, in, the, in this case is world. Uh, in further videos, maybe if we talk about TFs, We'll work on that and then what we do is get the length of that array and what we do is iterate over this array that we are giving this method we're getting the position as you can see each element of the array is a vector 3 of godot that means that it will have dot x dot y and dot z note that we are changing the Z from the Y. We're swapping them. This is because in uh, Godot, if you have a look, let me stop the let me stop the game. If we have a look at something uh, something simple, let me have a look at the dummy robot, for example. You can see that the X, which is the red, okay, it's the normal x then the y it's downwards is where the the z would be in this case uh, if we go to some other system but basically sorry uh, you have the x and the y upwards and then the z that way or that way in this case it would be this way as you can see they are swapped so what we do is we have to swap it here because for rows z is upwards that way if we didn't do this the the point cloud would be turned like 90 degrees yeah once we have this then we generate this point 32 and we fill in with the values and then we put in the points um variable inside this message uh, this one uh, this message which is point cloud message we add these points and we add them sequentially. Once we have all of them, then we publish. And that's it. That's how we publish in ROS. So this is the part from uh, Godot plugins. How do we do it from Godot? If we go to the graphical tools and we have a look at the, let's have a look here, and the dummy robot version three, we see that ROS systems 
we don't have anything and we have this point cloud uh, element C and here we are initializing this raycast publisher as new then we are initializing these this resource which is ray sensor the ray sensor is each of the points and these points let me have a look if we go to scenes this ray sensor there you go if we see the 3d version it's essentially a red sphere with a ray cast is a node that it's by default made in Godot so it's really easy to use and it also has a script but we'll go step by step so in the point cloud sensor we see that we do an instance of that scene and this way we can generate variable size um, point cloud sensors if you have a look here you see that we can change this in in any way that we want in this case we'll have a look here here because this one is the one that will have the values you see that here we have the visualize on these are these red dots that appear there then we have the maximum row the maximum columns and the angle of aperture of horizontal angle and vertical and this generates us a, a kind of cone so that we we can see more or less and have more or less elements and that's basically it I'm not changing the, the depth of the rays which maybe I'll do in, in the future uh, so we go here and we set all this stuff and then what we do is we spin some so this Raycast publisher which is the plugin that we we, sh we talked about earlier we do spin some just to refresh everything and then we create the ray matrix which is uh, around here and this essentially what it does is generate instances of those ray sensors of these ray sensors these ray sensors as many as we have set so in this case uh, based on these numbers and then what we do is update sensor data which is executed in the process so each physics process well it, in each process every delta we execute update sensor so and we do this update if a uh, sensor period time has passed in this case sensor period I think it was 0 0.1 exactly 0 0.1 and that's it if we don't then we just add to the last time we did an update and we do this all the time this way we are not overflowing the system with, with loads of data which are useless and in the update data this one is the one that gets the raycast sensor data and generates this array that we publish if you go here we generate an empty array we then go around all the ray sensor array that we generated here in the in this in the create ray matrix at the end we are um, essentially generating here the ray sensor array append so we go all over all the sensors and we get if it collides with something and if it does in which point in space we could also know which object the name of the object because this is a game engine and we could put that in the point cloud data also so a custom point cloud data maybe who knows and we get that point if if it's if it collides if it doesn't collide then we hide those points because we don't want to see them obviously this is in the game engine and then we append the the collision point if the collision point is not generated then it will be zero basically because it's a vector three 
so zero 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 so it will just be in the middle that's why in the Arvis we could see a point there I don't know if uh, we can see that you see there here there's there's a point in the zero and here we are storing all the points that didn't appear that didn't collide with anything and then what we do is once we have all this sensor array um, data which are vector threes we publish it with the publish raycast message which is this method here and we publish it in ROS and that's quite it um, if you want to see how the ray sensor works the ray sensor uh, uses a collision point essentially is a method for a ray sensor uh, this is raycast which if we go to the ray sensor it's a raycast object it's a raycast object so we call it and it works like that very easy you can do it by code but this is the easiest way and that's quite it so this is how everything works in Godot and Ross and so on and in RViz the only thing is that we have to set the frame to world and we have to set the correct topic and that's quite it nothing very fancy there and that's all for today I hope you liked the video and this video series if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't leave a comment if you want to that we do videos of something else maybe some other topic with Godot maybe uh, TFs maybe uh, inverse kinematics who knows uh, or maybe another game engine so leave it in the comments below and, uh, and I'll try to to see what I can do and finally I would like to thank all the people that have created the material that I've used here indirectly so thanks a lot especially Evan Flynn I leave his link in the video description so you can give him some love and thanks to all that and also the repository the original repository and all the the people that have made the materials like the Moai and the textures that are, have been used so I leave everything in the video description so thanks a lot and that's it thanks and see you in the next one peace